it's all coming back. Yes, it's all coming back to haunt Ibrahim Badamusi Babangida, a former head of state in Nigeria. This man was one of the persons who annulled the 1999, um, 1993 um, uh, election where we saw that, um, uh, you know, somebody won and all of a sudden, you know, he said, no, he did not win. He was a Yoruba man. MK Wabiola was what he was fondly called. And so after the whole election, Babangida just woke up and whatever discussions he's had with some people, said no, he did not win, and that election was annulled. And now, you know when they say the, the, the children have eaten sour grapes, when you bite a sour grape, you know how, it, you know that um, acidic feel, the way it comes into your mouth when you eat a fruit that is not ripe. Exactly. So the man is back on him now because um, he's been speaking a lot with regards to who becomes Nigerian's president. And people are asking, like, sincerely, who gave you the authority? Who gave you the authority? How, how come you're the one speaking? What have you got to say in, the, in, the, in, in light of what is going on? Who gave you that, that, you know, that position to speak? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Abacha was very smart, corny, about 1999 coup, IBB. Former military head of state, General Ibrahim Babat Musi Babangida, has said former military detector late Sunny Abacha was very smart and corny about the 1993 coup. In 1993 election, which was expected to transit Nigeria from military rule to democratic rule was suddenly cancelled by the same Badamusi Babangida, whom this is now telling in the face as his nightmare stares him. From before the then National Electoral Commission, I, Na, National Electoral Commission, NEC, could fully announce the result, Badamusi Babangida has annulled the whole thing. Late Nigeria reports that M.K. Wabiola was set to become the president before the election was annulled by the former military president, which led to a national protest. Following the annulment, Ernest took over the affairs of the country on August the 27, 1993, as head of an interim national government, but was overthrown by the late Abacha after spending just 82 days in office. In an interview with Trust TV, Badamusi Babangida stated that Abacha and his colonels deceived many Nigerians who were vocal about the June 12 election coup and other national issues. He disclosed that Abacha encouraged Abiola supporters to get rid of the interior government by promising to return Nigeria to the civilian government which he later failed to do. But Amusi Babangida called and said whatever he said or knew about the Abacha was irrelevant to power as at today, but the coup was planned by late Sunny Abacha. He said, when we came up with the idea of an interim government, Nigerians said they were tired of anything on the media face that was contentations against the interim government. What we did and what we intend to do, the interim government, was we gave it life and we gave it tenor. We had a date for another election, but we were told to forget it. No election. Nigerians were weary of election. Just pack and go, was what they said. However, Nigerians have continued to tell Babangida that he was the very reason why the election went that way. If he wanted to pick a president or endorse somebody, he should have done right by the people. So he's staring him back in the face and um, what he did is coming back at him, saying, what, what are you trying to say now? Like you, like you did well. We, knew, we know your history, how uh, you went about things. You did not do anything worthwhile. What you did rather was that you made things worse than they are, really sincerely speaking. You know, we expected more from you. You know, Babangida has been speaking a lot about endorsement, who is endorsing and who is not um, endorsing. And a lot has been going on in that ground because a lot of people feel that he has no right to be speaking about endorsement, endorsing someone or not endorsing anybody because, you know, Babangida is not, um, is not a role model, so to say, you know, because um, lately he was speaking about Atiku and um, 
Chinobo, and these are the people who have come back to him saying, uh -uh, why are you speaking as though you have a right to speak? You are one of the people who brought the nation to the current predicament where it is today. There was an election held in this country. That election was one of the most successful elections. Before then, the, um, you know, the, the, the then government could finish announcing the results. You came and you are not the whole thing. So what exactly are you talking about? Now you're telling us about late General Sonia Bacha. You know, we know how to pass the blame around, yes? Remember, it's late General Sonia Bacha. So the man is gone. So it's easy to tell everybody now that that man was the devil, but you've forgotten your own part, the, part, the same part you played, you see. So Nigerians are saying to him, what, who, gave you, who gave you the, you know, the order, okay, the audacity to go ahead and begin to, you know, speak into, you know, situations and transformations of real life and what should be. It ought not to be. What, what's currently happening is not acceptable in any way, form or kind. You see, um, Nigerians you know, are tired of the recycling of the same government, yes. However, the person to pick the government for us is not some man who had ruled in the military era and did not do Nigeria no good. You see, he has blasted um, Tinubu, he's also blasted Atiku, and they are coming back at him. But what do we need on a more serious note? Because if you're not looking for something, when you find it, you may not even know you're looking for it in the first place. And when the purpose of the thing is not known, abuse is inevitable. So it is important that people know exactly what they are looking for. So when they find it, they are able to effectively, you know, make distinctions and say, yes, this was what it was all along. So Nigerians are really tired of the same people who are repackaging themselves on them left, right and center and telling us that someone... It's everybody's fault other than your fault. You see, it's everybody's fault other than your fault. You see, late General Sonia Bacha was many things. However, he did not cancel that um, that election. If you have, if 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 you had not cancelled it, he was declared the president. I don't see how. Okay, late General Sonia Bacha would have had the opportunity, you know, to override the whole system, come in and become, you know, have that military coup and all that. And what you guys did, okay. In the face of all that happened in Nigeria, is still very much there. Your 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 actions, your precedence precedes you. What you guys did, how you guys, you know, you know, brought in a, a false constitution that is plaguing the nation today, is still there. So leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you as the saints catch up with him. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. Remember, you have a voice. Let it count. Bye for now. Bye.